Creating Custom Payloads The payloads of well-known frameworks such as Metasploit are easily recognized by the security systems. The best way to avoid this is to create your own payload. There are open source and free tools to create your own malware in payloads such as Veil Avoid with a zero instead of an O Syringe Fat Rat and Empire. Now you will see how to create a custom payload using Veil Framework. First, let's install it to our Kali machine. If we Google as Veil Evasion, the first link will be the GitHub page of Veil Evasion. This page redirects us to the GitHub page of Veil 3.0. In the README part of the page, we see the quick installation guide. We simply follow the steps of this installation guide. Install Git if it's not already installed. Create the clone of the Veil 3.0 project. Go to Veil folder. Under the setup folder, run setup.sh script with the dash C parameter. And this will take a few minutes. In this period, some install wizards are opened. Don't worry, they're all next next finish wizards. Now, Let's see the Veil framework in action. Go to the Veil folder and run veil.py script. Use list command to list the available tools. We would like to use the evasion tool, so print use one and hit enter. Veil evasion menu is open. Use the list command to see all available payloads. There are more than 40 different payloads. Let's use Meterpreter payload, which is using a reverse HTTPS connection. Copy the file name with the full path. We'll use it on the next step. Print Use27 to use the payload we selected and hit Enter. The options of the payload are listed. Change as many options as possible to make the payload more customized. The most important options here are the address and port number of the listener machine, lhost and lport options. Again, listener will be our Kali machine, so assign the IP address of Kali as lhost. Let the lport remain as 4444. To keep the example simple, I'm not going to change any other option at this point. Now we're ready to generate the payload. Use the generate command for this purpose. Give the base name for the output files. To be more meaningful, I'd like to use connection type reverse protocol HTTPS and the port number that uses 4444 in the file name. And last, it's asking the method to create the executable file from the script code. Choose the first one. Malware is ready as a code and as an executable file, plus an RC file which is used to start an appropriate handler that uses the same options with the malware is prepared. 
Let's transfer the malware to our victim machine using the Win SCP tool. First, I copy the malware to the home folder of the SSH user. You can examine the generated file using Linux file command. Yes, it's Windows executable. Now, go to the victim machine, run WinSCP, and connect to the Kali machine with SSH user. Before copying the malware generated by Vale, let's turn on Windows Defender. Now while Windows Defender is running, copy the malware to the victim machine. No, Windows Defender cannot recognize the malware. We successfully copied the malware into the Windows 8 system. Now at this point, as the attacker, we need to have a listener because the payload of the malware uses a reverse connection. So go to Kali, use Metasploit RC file, which is generated by Vale, to create a listener. Print MSF console R and add the RC file name with its full path. Then hit enter. An HTTPS reverse handler starts on our Kali machine's 4444 port as background job. Now go to the Windows machine and run the malware. A session is opened. Use the sessions-l command to see the open sessions, and the sessions-i1 to enter the open session. Now we have a interpreter session on the victim machine, even though the victim machine has a security solution, Windows Defender. Enjoy.